I just found out that you can draw on the um, screen that's recording over there. So how's this look for a mustache? I'm just trying out some new looks. How's that? Oh, wrong way. Good. Okay. Now's when it gets a little tougher. Before it was like y is less than or equal to something. Now we don't even have a y figured out here. So we're actually going to graph two different lines. We're going to graph this left parabola over here. And we're also going to graph y equals 3 for this part. So we'll do that second because that's a nice easy part. Uh, but the first part, if we were looking for our axis of symmetry, our negative b over 2a, we'd have negative negative 6 over 2 times 1, which gives us 6 over 2, which is 3. So at 3, we're going to divide this graph right down the middle, this parabola. Again, immediately when you find that, you substitute it in for x. So y equals x squared minus 6x plus 8. 3 squared is 9. 6 times 3 is 18. Uh, 9 minus 18 is negative 9 plus 8 is negative 1. So our vertex will be at 3, negative 1, which is down here. We can figure out our y-intercept, because remember, it's always just that last number. So our y-intercept will be at 0, 8, which is up here. We can reflect that to the other side. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And there's our parabola. Now this is the or equal to's. So don't forget that means a solid line. So there is our first parabola. And then the second line, remember, is y equals 3. So that's going to be a flat line at 3, like this. So here's kind of what this question is asking. They're saying... When is this parabola less than y equals 3? So look at our parabola. Look at our y equals 3 line. The spots where this parabola is less than that would be all of these points. So when we list this, there's a couple ways we can list this. We can kind of think of this as a number line, like right here to right here are the x values we want, which is from, uh, what's that, negative 1.5, or is that negative 2? Let me see. Hold on. Maybe my graph is just googly. I think my parabola was supposed to hit here, and yeah, so we would say, like, this is at positive 1, and over here it goes to 5. So we would say the x values that make that happen uh, are between 1 and 5. So you can list that like this. Right? That means the values are between 1 and 5 and include 1 and 5. That's one way you can write that. Or you can write that in interval notation. So think of this as a number line. Because remember, we're worried about the x values here. So like, here's one, two, three, four, five. If this was on a number line, all of our solutions would be these numbers here. So the way you would write that then in interval notation is bracket one to five with the bracket on the back end of the five. I like to write the inequalities better, especially once we get to uh, like the next example, it's nicer to have it in the inequality here. But interval notation is cool. You'll see on the next one, it can get a little, a little tricky. But you got this. You're smart. Let's practice another one.